and never forget exit slips again. <laughs> um, so when I was in high school, I was obsessed with math. I went to math camp for five weeks, two different summers. I did an online or, uh, math competition, a mail-in math competition, where I spent weeks working on something. And there was something so obsessive for me about math. And I remember these moments of great elation when I was like working a problem, I would spend weeks on it, and then like my heart would start like pounding, and like these endorphins would start like being released, and I became unnaturally like proud and obsessed with the math that I was doing. And my mom was the unfortunate victim who had to not understand anything as I like blathered on explaining her some solution to this or that. And I started thinking about my experience in high school and how I had that feeling and then what I was doing in the classroom and what that idea of joy is in my classroom. And I think a lot about how to get kids from point A to point B and what teacher moves I might use or different strategies. But I wasn't thinking explicitly about that idea of joy in the classroom. And I was wondering, is there some sort of structure or something that I could build into at least one of my classes as an experiment that would allow for that joy to become visible. Like, at many times I think for us that joy is like internal. We're individually working on something. We like get that like aha moment and then it like passes and we're working on something else. And so after a little bit of pondering, I don't know where it came from, but I had the idea of a hotel bell. You can ignore the cups. But the hotel bell is something that um, I introduced to kids by giving each group one bell. I told every kid Definitely press the bell loudly, be proud about it. I didn't want the bell to be a sacred object that they felt nervous about or like they make a no noise and like everyone's disturbed. I wanted them to know like it was their bell. And then I gave them, or I talked a little bit about my math experience where I felt such joy doing math. And I asked them if they've ever felt any moment of joy doing math. And I gave them 60 seconds to think. And then I asked for volunteers. And surprisingly, a lot of kids raised their hands and they recounted things all the way back to kindergarten. Or the time that fractions like made them cry and then they finally figured it out and they felt like, this works. I mean, that's not for like some of my calculus students, so they have never had that moment, but uh, with fractions. Um, or they would remember some activity they did in geometry that like felt really cool that they had like that moment. Um, and so they had lots of moments of math joy that stuck with them like for long periods of time. And I think we have them all the time. Um, but they're, as I said, pretty invisible. And so I told them to press the button one more time and that during our class, whenever the bells were out, any time they had a moment, and it didn't have to be a big moment, like fractions make sense. It could be a small moment of like they were really struggling and they couldn't get something and then finally something clicked or they like helped someone else understand something and they felt really proud of it. And when that would happen, just press the button. Um, I didn't know how this was gonna work, where they must press it too, like, too often, too, like not at all, because they were scared. Um, but it ended up being a really cool thing that worked. Because when kids would like normally high five, they're like, no, this is a bell ringing moment, and they would ring the bell. Um, and I wouldn't stop class when this happened. You know, I would just let it go. Sometimes I'd mosey over to the table and ask what happened, sometimes I wouldn't. This wasn't about me and them, it was just about them. Um, what I did want to like debrief a class, and there might have been a lot of bells that were rung, um, what, was, what I would do is maybe stop a few minutes early, and I would ask anyone who rang a bell if they were interested in sharing what that moment was. Um, I didn't do it every day, right? It's not like um, I have the bells out every day. It was only the days that I brought out those cups. If you don't know what those cups are, I'll post it on the wiki for this my favorite, but Sarah Carter has a great group work activity thing, and so it was like when they were doing heavy lifting, rich tasks. Um, but something that I noticed that would happen is on days that I wouldn't have these out, is that kids would still talk about, I just had a bell ringer moment, or they would actually run to the cabinet so that they could actually <laughs> press the bell. And I was like, okay, so it worked, at least for that class, so that was my experiment. And what I like about it is, if you're in a class and you hear other people having moments of math joy, it becomes part of the norm, and you're like, I can't wait till that happens for me, right? Like, when I'm gonna get to that point, when they have that insight, I want that insight. So that was really cool. Um, I'm not going to do my second my favorite, like the second thing, because of time, but I'll still post it on the wiki. So, um, that's it. Thanks.